Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. I know it's been a while, but today's video what we're going to be talking about is a certified ethical hacker exam and the blueprint and what is expected on that exam. And it is a two-part exam. You can have the multiple choice and you can have the practical. And if you do them both, it equals a CEH master. And we'll go through all of that in this video. I've been asked some questions about the certified ethical hacker. Is it worth it? What's my opinion on it? And is it better than the pen test plus? Is it better than security plus? And I'll give you my input about all of that stuff. I'll try. Remember everyone's opinions is their own. So what I think is my opinion, it doesn't mean that it's your opinion. You know, it's just what I think, right? So uh, before we start the video, obviously subscribe to the channel, support it like it and if you have any questions just leave some comments down below or if you have any questions outside of my videos you can hit me up on instagram or twitter and all that good stuff but i do have my certified ethical hacker exam so i've done mine in version 8 which was many years ago i did mine in 2014 so it's almost seven years ago now and now they're up to version 11 okay so and if you want to know more about the certified ethical hacker and we do have classes we we are going to have a class for the ceh at next gen t where i train so if you have any questions about it we can answer any questions you may have and um, yeah let's continue so the program about the certified ethical hacker exam so if we go down here, the Certified Ethical Hacker V11 will teach you the latest commercial grade hacking tools, techniques, and methodologies used by hackers and information security professionals to lawfully hack an organization. What does this mean, lawfully? Lawfully means that we can get written consent to do a pen test or an ethical hack against an organization. Remember, even running a simple Nmap scan against an IP address on the public facing internet without consent is illegal. You know, even though it's like, just like, oh, I'm just scanning a site or scanning an IP address. If you're doing that and someone has an IP, you know, a, a logging for that scan, if it's, you know, setting off alarms or whatever, and they track back to you. And if they want to press charges or, hey man, like you don't have authorized, you like unauthorized use of a computer, Right, it, it, there is there is a lawful acts that they can go against you. So just be very careful with these tools. Make sure you have written consent, or just do it in a lab. Right, do it on Hack the Box or Try Hack Me, and run these fancy tools, or set up your own home lab. But I don't want to go off too on a tangent because I can go into home lab. I can go into the CTFs and all that good stuff, and go on a real tangent. So. You know highlights of some of you know some of the stuff for the CHV11 a part of the you know the rest you know pretty much what you know sets us apart or sets CH apart you know you can look at some of these uh, these little boxes hands on hack and challenges and live uh, cyber range no simulations and all this good stuff okay so introducing all the new CHV11 stuff. So there's a handful of stuff that's on the new CEH versus when I took it, right? I can only compare what I took to now. I haven't taken a new one, but I am training the new one. So I have access to the instructor led course and I am doing that as well. So I am doing the iLabs, I'm doing all that good stuff. So I'm getting, I'm training myself in the sense um, to prepare to train students on the v11 certification so this cloud computing hacking web applications oper operation technology wp wpa3 which is the wireless encryption hacking challenges on steroids uh emergent attack vectors enumeration malware reverse engineering so there's a whole bunch of new stuff on this exam okay let's just keep it moving i don't want to be too long on this video i don't want to bore you guys i want to try to make it entertaining as best as possible but introduction to the inter, introduction to the like break uh, break the code challenge right with the CEH. 
So to beat a hacker, you need to think like a hacker, right? Just like they say, to catch a thief, you have to think like a thief. That's why like the cops, they have to put their, you know, thinking cap on. How would this, you know, how would this thief steal this money from a bank or, you know, physically going with a gun or however these people do it. I, a lot of stuff is done online now. So, but you know what I mean? You get the gist. So there's, um, you know, there's 24 incredible, you know, hacking challenges across four levels of, you know, different kinds of stuff, including the OWASP top 10. I guess it's, you know, for a hundred bucks, you can uh, add this add on and so on and so forth. So, so why is the CEH in demand globally? Okay. So it's a, it, it's not as, all right. So I, I want to get into the exam. I, I haven't taken a new one, but even when I took my exam, the exam is not easy. You know, at least for me, it wasn't easy. It wasn't a piece of cake. And when I took it, I had about two and a half years experience in cyber, right? Because I, I started in cyber around 2011. So almost three years in cyber. Uh, but in IT, I've been doing it for now 16 years. But, you know, so it wasn't a walk in the park. I did my Security Plus before that. I did some, you know, I had like some Cisco certification, CCNA, CCMP security, and some of that stuff, but never really on the red teaming side. So this is a hot commodity at this moment. You know, it's a hot cert because, you know, it helps you get in the door of these kind of roles, right? Network security engineer, uh, security analyst, SOC analyst, even though you can do a SOC analyst with a security plus as well. And the list goes on and on. Junior penetration tester, right? Senior SOC analyst. So the list goes on. You can read through this list. You can just go on to ecconsole.org and then hit the program, the CEH. But, and uh, with the CEH, you know, you're going to have all these different kind of, uh, these advanced details, you know, so if you guys know about the five phases of hacking, this is pretty much what steps you take to do a pen test or an ethical hack or whatever you want to call it. You're going to do some reconnaissance, like scanning. You're going to do some information gathering. You're going to do gaining access, enumeration, maintaining access, and then clearing your tracks, right? Covering your tracks. That's pretty much the five phases of hacking. So, you know, the list goes on and on. And important skills to combat, engage, uh, emergent attack vectors, the latest technology, hacking challenge at the end of each module, and new OS, which is the powered OS, they're not using Kali Linux, and gain expertise in modern malware analysis, and more time and hands on practical learning. Okay, so there's a ton of new stuff. So Let's see about this exam, and this is the stuff that people get confused, and I'm try to I'll try to elaborate on this as best as I can. So there is two exams, right? You have the written exam, which is 20, 125 questions, four hours, multiple choice. When you pass that with a score of I think eighty or sixty to eighty five percent, once you pass that exam, you are a certified ethical hacker, right? So. What does this mean? So if we go to course layout, this is it's 20 modules that you're gonna learn in the course and so on and so forth. So if you're gonna go ahead and do a do a training with NextGen, NextGen T, if you're gonna do a training with whomever, you're gonna be learning all about these 20 modules. Okay. Let's go. Who is this for? Some you know IT security people. This is not for John the Baker. You know, if you're John the Baker and you want to be a CEH in a week. Good luck, unless you're a genius, okay? Training options, you can do iLearn, you can do iWeek, which is live, online. You can do a master class, you can do training partner in person, education partner in person or online. You have multiple ways to do the training, okay? So the brochure, the brochure I have open here. Let's go all the way up. I was reading it before I started this video. so. This is the CEH V11, demanded by employees, respected by peers, okay? So who is a certified ethical hacker? You know, it's someone that specializes in working in the red team environment, which is on the offensive side. 
focus on attacking computer systems, gaining access to networks, application databases, and so on and so forth. Right, so it's more on the offensive side. And then there's what's called blue teaming. Blue teaming is on the defensive side, like defending against these hackers, okay? So the Certified Ethical Hacker version 11 provides, you know, in-depth understanding of ethical, ethical hacker phases, various different kinds of attack vectors, and a whole bunch of different kinds of things. Countermeasures that will teach you how to think like that and put that mindset. Incorporating, you know, Parrot OS. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of good stuff. I want to get to the comparison of the two. Uh, let's go down. This is the 20 modules. Let's keep going down. This is pretty much everything we just went over, what we learned, you know, in the 20 modules and so on and so forth. The target audience suggested course. It's a five day course. You have the options. Okay. So I want to get to here for a second. This is where I think people get confused. Okay. So you have a certified ethical hacker written and you have a practical. Okay. So with the written exam, you have 125 questions, four hours to take that exam. It's multiple choice questions. Once you pass that exam, you are a CEH. Now, if you want to become a quote unquote CEH master, then you go ahead and take the CEH practical. It's 20 question practical challenges. So I'm assuming I haven't taken this, but if I was to guesstimate, you have 20 challenges to hack. You know, okay, I want you to find someone, you know, or hack into this and do a pivot or find a, I don't even know, because I, I, I haven't taken the exam, so I, I can't really vouch for that. But maybe there's some kind of stuff with the five phases of hacking, some reconnaissance, some gaining access, maybe some, some wireless stuff, breaking some wireless uh, encryptions, and so on and so forth. And this passing score here is 70%, okay? So the eligibility, you know, I think you have to be 18 years you know, 18, 18 years old to take these exams. So attempt without, so if you you wanna take this without any EC Council training, in order to be considered, this is a critical, critical thing. So if you say you, you don't wanna take the, the training with, for example, Next Gen T or anyone, you just wanna go take the exam, in order to be considered without doing official training, you must have at least two years of work experience in information systems, uh, in information security domain. If the candidate has required work experience, they can submit the eligibility application along with a $100 non-refundable fee. So you have to prove to them, probably send them a resume, send them the companies that you provided these services for, and they would probably validate that and make sure you're good to go, okay? So the new vulnerability assessment and penetration tests are tracked, so that. So how to achieve the CEH and beyond, okay? So this is some of the core stuff that I think for an ethical hacker or a blue teamer or anything like that, these are some good certifications to do. Obviously you have your certified network defender, which is your entry level, you know, if you wanna say that. Your certified ethical hacker maybe is like an intermediate, intermediate level. And then you have your CPENT, which is penetration testing, certified penetration tester professional. Then you go up a level and you can have your licensed penetration tester. Okay? So if you accomplish this bad boy, you know a little bit about pen testing uh, from my experience. So that's pretty much it for this video. Let me just go all the way up. Let me go back to the CEH. And I think that should be it, yeah. So, okay, I think we didn't go over this. I was talking about this. So prove your skills and abilities with online practical examinations, okay? So the knowledge, you take your 125 question exam, you know the knowledge, you have the theory, right? Because it's a multiple choice. Plus, if you want the skills and abilities, you could take the six hour 20 question challenge for the Certified Ethical Hacker Practical, okay? And that will equal your Certified Ethical Hacker Master obtain mastery. So this is your proof that you've done the multiple questions, multiple choice questions, plus the practical, and then you're a master. Okay, so obviously this is gonna go down the, everything we just went over, the practical examination, 
and the six hour exam where you're gonna learn uh, or what the exam is gonna be about. So port scanning, vulnerability detection, system, uh, attacks on the system, DDoS. So this is pretty much what we're probably gonna get questions on, right? Uh, SQL injection methodologies, web application security, and you know all this good stuff. Let's hit more. And cryptography, cryptography toolkit, OpenSSL, web application, excuse me, web server attack methodologies, operating system, Linux, Apple, and Mac. I mean, Linux, Windows, and Mac. And, you know, encryption algorithms and all this good stuff. So there's a lot of stuff that you could probably get questions on this exam. You have, it says 20 questions. So it's probably gonna pick any of these or maybe one of each. I don't even know, I, I didn't really count these, how many it is, but you get the gist, okay? 20 challenges, testing your skills. You know, you're gonna be in a live network of VMs and applications with the solution uncovered vulnerabilities. And then your master certification. I don't know why it went all the way down there. Upon, upon completion, you're gonna be a CEH master program. If you do the CEH written and practical, and then you're a master. That's pretty much what it's, what it's saying. And whoops, I didn't mean to do that. So, and then, you know, a glance of the exam, 125 questions, 20 questions for practical, everything that we just went over. All right, so that concludes this video. You know, if you have any questions, like always, sorry it's been a while since I made a video. The last one was about the pen test plus. And uh, I know I haven't done really any demonstrations lately. It's been just crazy. I haven't had time to even make videos. I've been busy, really busy working, preparing for um, some cool stuff that's coming down the pipeline. And uh, like, again, if you have any questions about Certified Ethical Hacker, hit me up. If you're interested in CEA class, go to Next Gen T, and I will be the instructor over there to uh, teach that course. So if you have any questions, like I said, hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, all the social media sites. That'll be all down below in the description. Until next time, guys, thanks so much, and uh, we'll be speaking soon. Awesome. Thanks.